This video explains how to add a Freedom Colony and Freedom Colony Stories to the Texas Freedom Colonies Project Atlas. In this video, we'll explain the different options for adding pictures, stories, memories, and histories to the atlas. We'll cover how to use the survey forms. What can you share about your Freedom Colony with the public in the atlas? Well, you can share stories and store Freedom Colony historical and contemporary digital materials like photos, audio files, documents, and other information about institutions, buildings, landscapes, lifeways, and promising preservation practices in specific settlements. We rely on crowdsourcing, which means collecting data about freedom colonies from the public, like you. Crowdsourcing helps us learn about freedom colonies our research team has never heard of and find those that have dropped off maps. When you arrive at the Atlas and select the Atlas version 2.1 tab, a box will pop up and ask that you agree with the terms of use. At the top of each survey, you will read about the research study this project is a part of and how we use the data. Permissions and licensing agreements are clearly explained. We encourage you to view the agreement and follow the link before you consent to submitting data and sharing it with the research project and the public. Completion of a survey form or submission of information through the Atlas represents consent to participate in the Texas Freedom Colonies Project study. The link to the permission and licensing agreement is available within the survey forms on our website at thetexasfreedomcoloniesproject.com slash user dash agreements. The first way to add to the Atlas is using one of our two surveys. Anyone can use the Storyteller survey. If you are the descendant of a Freedom Colony, we prefer that you complete the Black Settlement Survey. The Storyteller survey is shorter than the Black Settlement Survey and asks basic information about settlements. You can find the Storyteller survey by clicking the Tell Your Story tab at the top of the atlas or the texasfreedomcollegesproject.com slash share dash your dash story. You can also find the Storyteller survey when you click the Share Your Story Here link within an atlas point. A survey will pop up. Your Freedom Colony name and county will be automatically filled in for you just add your stories, histories, memories, photos, and videos. Please fill out as much information as you know or feel comfortable sharing. The only required fields are the zip code of the Freedom Colony, the Freedom Colony name, the county where the Freedom Colony is located, and a location using the locator box. To share the location of the Freedom Colony, you could place your point at a church, cemetery, school, homestead, or other landmark in the community. If a point for a Freedom Colony already exists, you don't have to use the same point for your survey. The Tell Your Settlement Story box is where you can share information about your settlement, like your Freedom Colony or church origin story, the history of the Freedom Colony, its population, families that live in the Freedom Colony, traditions, events, cemeteries, homesteads, schools, lodges, and other information. Share as much as you know or are comfortable sharing. Anything entered into this field will be made public on the Atlas when you click Submit. In the box labeled Resources, please tell us where you found the information you have shared. This could be informal like the names of people you heard information from or interviewed during oral histories, or you can share titles of books or articles. Information can come from maps, brochures, or any sources you use to inform your survey answers. Information entered in this field will be visible to the project team, but won't appear publicly in the Atlas. Please upload files related to your Freedom Colony. The Atlas can accept nearly any kind of file. Images, PDFs, documents, audio recordings, even videos. Once you click Select File, a window will open for you to select a file from your computer. Don't see the file you're looking for? Click on 
Custom Files above the Open button and select All Files. If you have multiple files to add, you can add them each individually or click the first choice, hold Shift, and click the last choice. It will select everything in between. Hit Open and your file will upload in your survey. Once the files are uploaded, you can rename them by clicking the letter A to the right of the file name. This is particularly important when uploading pictures since cam cameras often assign a set of numbers as a file name. Please make sure the title includes location, year, names of people in an image. This will help our project team as well as Atlas users and visitors. When you have completed the survey, you will click Submit. Congratulations, you just added to the map and database. Your newly shared information will now appear as a red point on the Atlas and is visible to all Atlas users. It will be reviewed by our research team as soon as possible. If you shared an attachment on your survey, it will also be visible to users on the Visual History tab. Now you and visitors can view pictures, maps, documents, and videos in the Atlas. We've been asking descendants to complete the Black Settlement Study Survey since 2014 to learn about their needs as well as their successes, stories, and memories. This survey asked descendants to share information about Freedom Colony's past and present. It's similar to the Storyteller Survey but has more questions and is geared towards Freedom Colony descendants as well as people with a knowledge of settlement issues and challenges. You can find the Black Settlement Study Survey on the six tab from the left in the Atlas window. If you don't see it at the top, access additional tabs by clicking the rightmost tab with the dots and dashes, or find it on our website at the Texas Freedom Colonies Project.com slash black dash settlements dash survey. The Black Settlement Study Survey contains questions like, what are the biggest challenges to maintaining property or historic sites in your community or Freedom Colony? Who do you rely on to help you with problems like taxes, land ownership, and community services? Please recall your most recent visit. What did you like the most about visiting or living full-time in the settlement? Answers as many or as few of these questions as you like. Just like the Storyteller survey, you can upload files to the Atlas. When you submit a survey or use the Add to the Map feature, information you submit is immediately added to the Atlas's database, but only parts of your survey will be publicly visible. Some information you provide is not made publicly visible, such as your address, name, or phone number. We hope this video helps you add to the Texas Freedom Colonies Project Atlas and study. Public input is at the heart of our project and makes the Atlas better for all users. Please click on our YouTube channel page for more how-to videos. We welcome your calls, texts, and emails with any questions. Thank you.